What's up, lovers of whiskey and watchers of YouTube? I am the Mont Activist and welcome back to the channel. And guess what I have in store for you today? That's right, not one, not two, not three, not four, but five. Five whiskeys that are cost strength. Mm -hmm. Sherry bombs. What? So it's good to be back, back on this channel. Good to have you back. I know we took a, we took a short hiatus. I was traveling, I was sick. Someone died. Everything happened at the same time. And I was like, oh, that's just too much. Too much is happening right now for me to sit and make a sincere, sincere whiskey video for you guys. But I've recovered. I'm back. Um, I've grieved and those things are now in the past and now I'm super stoked that I'm sitting here with you today. So, awesome. How have you been? How have you been? Man, it's been a long time. I missed, I missed this. I missed interacting with you guys. I missed like hanging out with you guys and chatting with you guys and you know, having, having my facts corrected by you guys, which is always the best part. Always the best part. So, I decided for this video, you know what I'm going to do? We did, you know, we did five PT whiskeys for beginners. We did five really smoky, high strength whiskeys. But one of the things I missed, I realized that I hadn't done was sherry bombs at cask strength. Whoa. Always, always my favorite type of expression if done correctly. And so I had to go through my shelves and my bar and, 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 my, and my dungeon and the cellar and, and, and go deep in the closet as far back as Narnia and to try and find what I thought were five exquisite whiskeys that were matured 100% in sherry cask and served up at brutal cask strength levels, right? Now, I am sure as you know that there must be other expressions out there that are also very nice and, and uh, fit the description that I've just laid out. But these were the five whiskeys that I found in my bar that I thought I would share with you, right? And the most important criteria for me uh, for this selection was to make sure number one, matured 100% in sherry costs, uh, non-chill filtered, very, very important, no color added, woo! No coloring, no coloring at all. And finally, served at natural cask strength. Yeah, tough, tough guidelines, tough parameters, you know? But I managed to find five, and I hope, I really hope that you like the selection that I've made. If any of your selection is missing from my list, please leave it in the comment below. Now, before I begin, I just want to welcome any new users uh, who are here uh, watching this video. Hey man, uh, if you like whiskeys and, and you like incoherent rambling by, <laughs> by middle-aged guys uh, who are passionate about whiskey, then this channel is for you. We, we do whiskey reviews, uh, we talk about, we do whiskey lists, uh, we talk about whiskey stuff, anything and everything whiskey related. So, uh, you know, uh, if every couple of days you have 10 minutes to spare uh, and watch, uh, watch this face ramble on, uh, sometimes incoherently and, and ranting on, ranting on, uh, then this channel is for you. So, you know, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and maybe share it with some of your friends because every action goes a long way. Okay, cool beans. This was good, this was good. No second takes, I like that, I'm informed. Now, are you ready? Because I am, and we are going to our first whiskey of the day. The first whiskey I want to share with you is this, the Abalauer, Abuna. Ooh, this one is batch 53. And as you can see, I've been drinking a lot of it. Yeah, not a lot left here. I love this whiskey. It's an amazing dram. It was one of the first whiskeys that I discovered that was like super, super sherry bomb uh, and at a high strength. And I remember it was the batch, batch, batch 24. So you can imagine this was a long time ago because we have here batch 53, as you can see. 
and now I've read that they're up to batch six million and eight hundred and sixty four thousand and three hundred and eighty seven yes that's right uh six million batches so far have been ah, man i'm just i don't know i don't know how many batches there i think there are like 70 batches now so uh this one is i i used to think hey man 53 that's i haven't seen a batch 53 it must be very very uh you know uh, it must be one of the late, later batches but no it's quite old now because they're up to batch 70. I think they, they release like two, three a year, if not more. Anyway, the formula remains the same. 100% first fill Oloroso Sherry Cost, non-chill filtered, non-colored, and oh, can you look at that? Can you look at that? You know what that says? That says 59.7% ABV, natural cost strength. Dude, that's awesome, isn't it? I love it. I love it. Nothing better than a good sherry bomb that is served at cost strength. Rawr, so good. And um, one of my favorites, um, not the cheapest whiskey, uh, I'll be honest. I thought, you know, okay, here's the deal. I thought I'd, I'd do some pricing uh, on the whiskey itself, but ah, that's so arbitrary. And I've, I've always felt that, you know, uh, every time I put a price next to a whiskey and I say, hey, it's reasonable, somebody will say, no, it's not, you dumbass. And if I say it's expensive, some, no, someone will say, oh, cheap ass. So, you know, I don't want to do that anymore. Uh, so it is what it is. Um, uh, the Abelauer Abuna is an essential, essential whiskey that needs to be on your shelf uh, if you can afford it, uh, which I'm sure most of you can, uh, because it is such beautiful flavors put together. You want to know what the flavors are? Let me tell you. We have dark raisins, burnt sugar, cinnamon, clove, dark jam, leather, cigar box, and gingerbread. Ooh, how can you not like... Like... Jesus H. <laughs> I guess it's time to polish this off because no other, no other cork goes into this damn bottle. That's the problem. So I guess, I guess I'm gonna have to finish it off. Oh, such, such an awesome nose on this. Such an awesome nose on this. Um, never fails to uh, impress, you know, uh, this is one of those whiskeys that will not let you down. Uh, I hope they keep, uh, they keep selling it at a decent price. Uh, I don't know, I think it's like, 78 79 pounds now uh whatever uh but this is uh, a great uh, great expression and uh something that i love from abelauer uh, every time it comes out and i think you should get your hands on it as well like i said i think they're up to batch 70 something uh and hey man if you can get your hands on earlier batches oh, so good i can't tell you but you know, these batches are good as well uh and if you haven't tried it it is a definite must have Come on. This next whiskey I wanna to talk to you about. I was infatuated with this whiskey for the longest time and come on, I am talking about the Glen Farclaw, so 105. This one, okay, I'm sorry, I'm just flexing here. This one is a 20 year old 105, which I got many, 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 many years ago because I was like, oh my God, how the hell can a 20 year old whiskey have a natural cost strength of exactly 60%? That blew my mind completely. Um, however, that's just down to really, really, really good cask management. So, you know, they'll find casks that are like maybe 58, 59, but they'll find some casks that are 63, 64, and then they'll blend them in the perfect ratios and come up with a natural cost strike of exactly 60% ABV. This is not watered down. This is natural cost strike. And like I said, no Glen Farclass is colored. This one is not chill filtered. So everything perfect. This is matured 100% in first fill Oloroso sherry casks. Though, though I've heard, I think these are rumors, I'm not 100% sure. I've heard that that some, some 105s have bourbon matured whiskeys in there as well. I'm not 100% sure. If you know more than I do, which I'm sure somebody of, someone out there will, then please let me know if that is true. I kinda read it somewhere, but then somebody else disputed it, and I'm not sure. 
to the best of my knowledge, this is matured 100% in Olorosa Sherry flasks. And oh, what a great brand this is. And I know I'm, uh, I have the 20 year old here in front of me, but I'm talking about the regular 105 as well, which by the way, the cheapest whiskey on this list at roughly 53.75. Wow, that's pretty cheap, I think. Is it? Ah, oh, shit, I did it again, right? I, I ventured an opinion. <sighs> Shouldn't have done that. Anyway, it's 53.75. I don't know, is that expensive, is that cheap? Who cares, I don't care. All I care about is how it tastes. Do you wanna know how it tastes? I'll tell you how it tastes. It's creamy, it's nutty, it has dark honey, toasted bread, coffee beans, lots of pepper, oak, and dried fruits. So if that tingles in your mouth and that whets your appetite for this kind of sherry bomb, then get your hands on the Glen Fox 105. It is mwah, so good and you're gonna need a little bit of water, I'm gonna be honest, but try it without first, and you'll be like, whoa. Let's see, I hope this cork isn't broken. You know, I think it's gonna break soon though. This is a lot more savory than the Abuna. <sighs> oh, that, sh ah, man, that crisp, crisp, crisp sherry. Man, love it, absolutely love it. So. What are you waiting for? Buy it, man. Buy it. This next one on my list, I have been a fan of since the first batch came out. And I remember ordering it for the first time, uh, the, their very first release, batch number one. And I thought to myself, mm, I wonder what this is all about. <clears throat> I was a fan of the distillery, of course, but then they had this cost strength version coming out. And I was like, hmm, I have to try that. So I bought batch one and then very subsequently, uh, very soon bought batch two and I believe they're up to batch eight now. But what I have in my hands here is the Glen Jonach Cost Strike. This one is batch number eight. Woo! Batch eight. Man, they're up to 10 now. And this dude, can you believe it? 61% natural cost strength. This is 1% higher than the, than the mind-altering Glen Fox Class 105, which is bottled at 60%. This one is 61%. The only difference is this one is matured both in PX as well as Oloroso Sherry Cask. So a blend of two different maturations put together for our drinking pleasure. Mm -hmm -mm. <sighs> Man. I forgot how good, I forgot how good this whiskey smells, man. And now that all of you have seen me rubbing, rubbing my nose deep into the neck of this bottle, please don't come and ask me for a dram from this particular batch, because I think I'm gonna have to drunk, drunk it. I think I'm gonna have to drunk it. I think I'm gonna have to drink it because I have contaminated all my coronavirus uh, boogers into the neck of this whiskey. So now it's all mine. I'm the only one who gets to drink it. So. Why do I like this so much? Let's share some uh, tasting notes. What do we have here? We have earthy oak, we have vanilla, we have sandalwood, we have mocha, dates, cherry jam, caramel, and chocolate pudding. Just everything good about this whiskey. Ooh, just, you know, when you wake up on Christmas morning and you smell, you smell all the, all the goodies being made in the kitchen and it's just that ah, you wake up to that aroma. It's all here in this bottle. It is Christmas morning, this bottle. I love it so much and I've drunk this so much. I've drunk all the batches, except maybe the batch 10 I haven't drunk. I know my friend has it, so shout out to you, Yazid. I know you were drinking the batch 10. I need a dram of that for my next review. Leave a comment below if you want Yazid to share to share his his Glendronach batch 10 with me for my video review. Do it below. Put more pressure on him. He needs it, man. So this is a fantastic dram. Um, I don't know how much it costs. It costs ooh, 63 pounds. I don't know if that's expensive or cheap, whatever, it costs 63 pounds. It is what it is. But if you like super high, super high strength whiskeys with oh, gorgeous chocolatey rum cake, ooh, lovely flavors, then get this Glendronach. You will not be disappointed. Just like me, never disappointed. You might scoff at my last two whiskeys, but please 
bear with me because I really, really, truly, truly like them. And the the one that I have in my hand right now is this Glen Goyne Teapot Dram. This one is ooh, also batch eight, interestingly enough. Also batch eight. Um, Matured exclusively in a first fill Oloroso Sherry Cast. This one also comes in at a brah, blazing. Can you even see it? Ah, too much glare. Oh, whatever. So comes in at, I'll put it up on the side, 59% ABV. Man, everyone is packing a punch. Oh, and I've done a, I've done a video of this uh, whiskey a few weeks ago and uh, maybe a month ago, a couple of months ago. And uh, if you don't know the story about the teapot dram, go watch that video. It's a fantastic, funny, heartwarming story about how distilleries, um, <laughs> how distilleries uh, got their workers drunk during the course of the day and how they use that uh, very, very unsanitary, unsafety, um, uh, anti-safe, anti-safety uh, practice and made, made a whiskey based on that. So. Uh, that's what I love about the whiskey world. Uh, they will take anything, literally anything, and pay homage to it by releasing a whiskey. And I think and the teapot dram is one of that. So find out how Glen Goyne endangered the lives of all their workers by giving them free alcohol during the course of the day. And then, you know, to commemorate it, released a whiskey called the teapot dram. And why do we like it? Ooh, we like it because it has dark chocolate, oak, leather, cigar box, red apple, cinnamon, nutmeg, and lots and lots of black pepper. And how much does it cost? I don't know. I think it costs 150 pounds. I think it costs that much. I think I, that's what I paid for it. I don't know. But the important thing is, it's with us. It's in our hands. It's tasty. We drink it. We like it. Uh, you know, there's no coloring at it. It's not chill filtered. It's at cost strength. Uh, it's, it's beautifully constructed. It uses pristine sherry casks. And uh, come on, what, why, how? Why, how, how can you go wrong with that? Mm. Oh, I should stop doing this. Sorry, I'm gonna clean, <laughs> I'm gonna clean because this is a full bottle. I don't think I can, I don't think, I don't think I can drink a full bottle. So sorry, sorry, I'm cleaning all my coronavirus, coronavirus germs from the neck of this bottle. So whoever wants to drink this, please, um, please sanitize it first before you ask me to drink it. Uh, <laughs> before you ask me uh, to serve it to you. Uh, but dude, this is a great whiskey, and uh, like I said, hey man, uh, if your if your wallet allows you, uh, then get it. I I really like it, uh, and it's uh, dude. Look at that. Look at that color. Real, real colors. Come on, this is no coloring added. Look at that. Look at that. So much alcohol. <laughs> get it. And the last but not the least, I know this one super, super, super controversial because A, really hard to find, can't find it. Uh, B, I think super expensive, really expensive. I'm not even gonna put up a price. Um, I bought this whiskey many, 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 many years ago at a very, very affordable price. And I sort of kept it on my shelf and I sort of drink it very, very sparingly. I love the taste of it. I first drank it at a friend's house and I was floored off of the, uh, you know, uh, I was floored with the with the high strength and just the most gorgeous flavors that were in that whiskey. And then I had to go and get myself a bottle. And I'm of course talking about this Cavalan Solist single cask sherry cask. Can you see that? It says sherry cask. See, I'm not lying. It has sherry cask on it. And uh, whoa, this is an old bottling, by the way. This if I'm not mistaken, based on the serial number, and I think someone can correct me if I'm wrong, is a 2007 bottling. 2007? Or distilled in 2007. I'm not 100% sure. All I know is that it comes in at 59. Oh, why does it always do that? 59.4%, damn son. Every whiskey that we've we've put up here today is over 59% natural cost strength. And damn, again, uh, uh, matured exclusively in Olorosa Sherry Cost, bottled at natural cost strength. No coloring, no chill filtering. This is just absolutely beautiful. Look at this color. This is black. This is, I can't make my coffee this black. How, how? 
You can't make coffee this black. What the hell? Look at that. Alcohol. Love the alcohol. And why do we like it? Why do we like it? Here are my tasting notes. Fermented fruits with lots of licorice, black raisins, cinnamon, oak, coffee, black pepper, and yes, marzipan. I said it. Ooh, very distinct flavor profile in this one. I actually adore it. I hope the cork doesn't break. Ah, we're good. Look at that. Oh! Sorry. Oh, this threw me back many, many years. Uh, when I first tasted it, I was like, dude, what is this? And that, that made me fall in love with everything that came out of um, this little country called Taiwan, um, which makes this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Cavalan whiskey. And if you haven't tried it, oh, why, why am I getting this glare? There you go. If you haven't tried it, man, go get yourself a Cavalan. And if you can find one of these, Dude, 100%, come on, gotta get it, gotta get it. So, whoa, that was good, that was fun, it was good to be back. We, um, we, uh, we, uh, we put together a list uh, of all the things I love, uh, Sherry Cask, uh, high strength, non chill filtered, uh, no coloring added, just all the good stuff, all the good stuff, man, all the good stuff. Okay, cool. So, if you like this video, man, like it. Share it. I'm sure somebody else will like it too. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, dude. What? It's free. It's free. In fact, maybe I'll give you something. Maybe I'll give you like a free bottle of, I don't know. Free bottle of what? <clears throat> I'll give you, I'll give you the rest of my Ben Romach 21. The next guy, <laughs> the next guy who who subscribes to my channel, I will give you my remaining Ben Romach 21. And if I can't physically send it to you, then I will drink it to your good health. Yeah, that's that's kind of like really getting it and drinking it, right? So that's what I'll do. So here's, here's my special super subscriber promotion. Be the next subscriber and win yourself the remaining bottle of this Ben Romach 21. If I can't get it to you, I will drink it to your good health. How does that sound? I think that's a win-win for everybody. <sighs> wow. That was a lot of energy in this video. I have to say so myself. I'm feeling a bit winded. Yes, I know I'm not in the best of shapes, but damn son. That was a lot of talking at high energy, but I'm glad I did. I'm so glad that I finally made this video. Uh, I, put, I was getting antsy, you know? I, I hadn't made a video in a long time and I was like, I'm sure like at least three people are missing me. So if you're one of those three people, thank you for sticking around. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you've just subscribed, congratulations. This bottle is yours. Uh, feel free to come and take it or I will drink it myself. And uh, there you go. And uh, yes, uh, subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, definitely subscribe. And uh, next video coming out soon. Love you. Peace.